Hi guys, in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss what how to connect Microsoft SQL Server with Visual Studio 2026. So here, this is Visual Studio 2026. So first here, going to create a new project. So you can create any project to this place. So console application, this is VV is there. So C sort that's going to select. Now let's click on next. So here, console app. Day after, let's click on this create. So project is there. Day after, the first is if I go on this SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. So I already have a SQL Server. So this that's going to open to show you all the contents inside the SQL Server. So this is now currently loading. So localhost SQL Server, let's keep the password. And now let's click on this connect. So this SQL Server, this database that's item that's present there, and this has bunch of tables. Now then after the next is so connecting SQL Server. So let's go on this tools. Then you can get your option connect to as database. Then you can connect with the SQL Server, then Oracle database, this all. So going to select the SQL Server. Then after this taken there, that's fine. Click on this continue. So installing missing driver. So if you get message like this, so let's click on this yes. So Visual Studio installer. So data source for SQL Server support. So let's click on this install. And now you can see this here Visual Studio installer. So downloading and verifying installing the package. So total size is uh, 85 MB. So this is currently downloading the files. Installation has completed. Let's click on this. And then after, let's go again on this tools. Connect to server, not server. Let's give your tools, connect to database. So selecting there, SQL server. Now click on this continue. So this time you can get this. So server name, here this is fetching. So server name, you can give your PC name or localhost you can give so if i disconnect here this server name localhost that is there or you can give your pc name or ip address so please wait while or uh, we retrieve the list of server so this is doesn't retrieve so that giving their server name localhost or windows authentication sql server so let's give you a sql server as a Give their password. So trust uh, or certificate and they after database. If I click there, this that's read there. After doing this one, you need to click on this test connection. This test connection succeeded. Click on this OK, OK. So after pressing OK, here you can see laptop, this here. So whatever the tables contains, that's percent inside. SQL Server, here you can compare. Okay, let's give their password. So this table contains inside the item. This all that's compare. This all that's compare inside the SQL Server. Countries, this, HR, so HR schema, HR schema, Scott, Scott is there. Now after that, let's see the contents so for this one new query add so data table if i click then this or data is there 
or if I go on this employees here, you can see so tables. This is content there, and this views and there as store procedure. That's all there. After that, the next is here. If I click on this, go to properties. Then or this here connection string. This is the connection string is there. So you can use this connection string to anywhere in the code to connect SQL Server with. So this here, this is connection string. So this connection string you can use anywhere in the code to connect SQL Server with the Visual Studio by using the code. So this is how we can connect SQL Server with the Visual Studio 2026. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.